Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tim's Kitchen Tips. My name is Tim Heidecker and it's a show where I can show you guys how to make uh, fun, fast and easy recipes right from the comfort of your own home. And uh, I also want to send a message out to Deluge98, uh, go fuck yourself. He's a commenter and he's been mean, he's said mean things about me and my family and the show and all the, this wonderful crew that makes the show possible. And let me just make it clear to you, what I'm doing is helpful. What you're doing is just negativity. So, but uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about, uh, what's the name of that Tom Cruise movie? Uh, cocktail sauce. Uh, it's actually just cocktail, but we're gonna be making cocktail sauce today. And uh, sometimes when you're eating at home, you don't think about having hors d'oeuvres or having appetizers, but now you can, and I'm gonna show you how. It's very easy, four simple ingredients. Um, but I've got a fifth ingredient that I think uh, really adds a little, a little something. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, your base, which is ketchup. We remember ketchup from the uh, Russian dressing. Just put in a big old medium-sized bowl of ketchup and uh, some horseradish sauce. This is new to us, horseradish so radish, radish sauce. This has got a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of uh, but, uh, but it also has a creaminess to it, which really is quite nice. And you know, this one is, likes to stick to the bottom of the bowl here. Get all that in. And chives, everybody loves chives. This is in our French onion uh, dip. And, uh, and now we have actually um, some minced up tomatoes, some fresh tomatoes. Mmm, they smell great. And uh, we're gonna mix, start, just do a real kind of rough mix of this. Just fo almost folding it over, folding it before you get too crazy. And uh, right before you do your big mix, you wanna add a little bit of pismans. And uh, this is really by the eye. I'm pretty comfortable with it, so I do quite a bit because I do love the flavor of it. And we get our stir going here. And this, because of the tomatoes, you don't want to break up the tomato solids. You definitely wanna keep this chunky, almost like a salsa. Oops. I don't like to keep a clean kitchen until after I'm done cooking. I like some of the chaos. We are getting close here. Okay. Wow, well, uh, we um, actually mixed everything out. No problem, that's why I keep a clean counter space because we'll just get everything back in there and uh, not a big deal. And, um, not a big deal. And uh, just for the, since I only have, I only have about a quarter of the pismans left, I'm just gonna empty the rest of her out and uh, fill it with a little water so you can get the rest of that out. So I did add a little bit extra fluid in here. So we want to whisk, we're gonna want to whisk that, whisk some of that fluid out. So what I'm doing is there's, I'm creating a, a, a millions of little air bubbles out in there and that's letting the water evaporate and, and get out of the sauce. It's thickening the sauce, almost like making a roux uh, without the heat. So it has gotten a little runny and you can see that run. Actually, if I do this, you'll see the run. Should have not put so much of the Pissman's uh, water in it. So it's no problem, I'll just add um, and that's also going to give us some more of that nice red coloring. And uh, okay, well now we are maybe just a touch on the thick side, so let me get a little more mustard water in here. Okay. Ketchup. 
this is what happens. I should have just left it alone, but um, and that's just a full bottle of ketchup, which uh, should do the trick. All right, when we come back, I'm gonna debut my very special shrimp cocktail sauce for a very special friend. <laughs> All right, well, uh, the mess has been cleared and now we have enough shrimp cocktail sauce to feed an army, but I've uh, got one guest. I wanna thank him for coming on down. Why don't you come on down, Mr. Eric Wareheim is here and he's gonna try my Hi. shrimp cocktail. How are you? Uh, so, uh, thanks for coming on down to try my sauce, and uh, I understand you're in a bit of a rush today, so we'll try not to take too long. Yeah, um, like I told Caroline yesterday, today's not the best time for me to shoot this, and you know, remember Adam Bloomquist, mm -hmm. my best friend from high school, he passed, and I'm giving a speech, and um, you know, it's not a great time, but uh, yeah, well, I, I do need to be at the airport in an hour, so. Well, that's tricky. Yeah. Sure, you'll be doing a lot of hanging out with old friends back in Philly. Maybe whip up some sauce. Uh, any of these? Anybody can make these sauces from wherever you are. Even if you're traveling, go down to the supermarket. Anyway, you know, um, I'm just I'm stressed about the funeral. I'm upset about it, and I'm also stressed about getting to the airport. Well, let's time, just so. cut to the chase. Why don't we take a little, one piece of shrimp here and uh, just give her a? Uh, I'm going to try some too. Mmm. Nice, huh? Tastes like um, mustard and water. Well, this is just shrimp cocktail sauce. And I don't even know what, I mean. That's some old shrimp. So, careful how much you eat. That's bad shrimp, guys. Spit it out. I don't want you getting sick on the flight. Um, uh, it's. I just want yeah. you and the producers to kind of make a note of this. Caroline emailed everyone saying, "I know, I know I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with it." I don't, I don't want, I don't want anything spicy. Of course, I just, I'm allergic to shrimp, and now what I'm hearing that this is old shrimp. No. The least that you guys could have done is brought fresh shrimp. All right, but well, the let's smell just, in my mouth. Just, I know, I know. I believe me. Heads will ro heads will roll, and uh, there's, uh, I asked for fresh shrimp. Um, I don't I, know if the, right, I don't know if the smell is your sauce or this rotten shrimp, but it's it's making me sick. All right. Well, let me just close out by saying thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week with a new recipe here on Tim's Kitchen Tips. I have a long flight. If I get sick on that goddamn okay. flight, it's it's just it, it, it's not. It's it, you'll have a chance to. Caroline, did you get the note about the shrimp? I asked you guys That's to get one fresh. Simple All thing. I said was fresh shrimp. It's not her fault. Um, try the, try just to get your finger in there though. No, I'm not having any more, that's, no. I have to go. But well, he's got a catch.